Hey dudes and welcome back to another tutorial and this time this is a request from my best friend and he says uh, how to create vectors out of bitmaps or any image so here's a tutorial to do it so I just put this uh, alpha symbol as an image as you can see it's not transparent it's a JPEG file so let's select that first pick path then go to trace bitmap so here it gets a little bit complicated, but it will be easier if you take it by my steps. So here we go. If you go to brightness steps and click update, you will see it bases off the brightness of the image. Since I guess the I guess the program just thinks that the orange is quite bright, so it scans into white. It changed the color it will change what colors it is. Grays, it will just turn everything gray. In the scans, it basically scans any differences of each color. For example, eight scans, so there will be eight layers within that image, or eight colors, or eight grays. And if you click smooth, it will smoothen out the edges of the, of the image, of the vector that it will make and stack scans basically is scans stack scans is basically the colors are just overlapping so let's try that first let's go to colors with eight scans and click update and click OK so as you can see this is the finished part and if my mouse isn't. As you can see, there's rounded corners, but when you control shift G or ungroup it, just go to object and group, control shift, shift control G or control shift G, it will show the ungrouped uh, shapes. So we use the white, and that's the one layer. And of course, it will contain several layers more, depending on what image you have. Just make sure your images are simple enough that Inkscape can do it. it depends on your computer, because this is a very simple image. And if you try something like a photograph, you try to make it with a vector, it gets harder <laughs> to process that anyway. Let's go back, select the image, go to path, trace bitmap again. Without changing the scans, scans is a good way to um, just select the colors up to what colors or how many layers you would like the image have. Also, let's turn off the smooth, let's lower the scans into three and click update and click OK. As you can see, there's that, and we ungroup this again, there will only be three, three layers. And also they have not been smoothed out. When I can get closer, as you can see, there's no smooth edges. Okay, do that, let's go back, go back to path, trace it now. What about stack sands? As you can see in the last, in the last uh, demonstration, the st stack scans is basically where each layer is just stacking upon the image when it's formed. If you uncheck that, click update, click OK, we have three scans, and here we go. Let's just control shift G again. As you can see, the colors are, each color is basically divided. And also the white, let's change that to another color, is also not stacked because every, each color is not really stacked together, but each color has a different template that are than stacking up on each other, if that makes sense. Okay, let's again. And what about if you don't like the white? The best option is to check remove background 
Uh, let's go back to Texas and screw that up. Okay, update. And after you see, wait, oops. Update, click OK. And, and as you can see, there's no white. And then unroot this. The first layer, which is uh, white, is removed. Since you remove the background. Be careful when using when checking the remove background option because when you have images that have white in them, they will be removed. So be careful about that. And I guess that's about it for making uh, vectors out of bitmaps or images. Anyways, dudes, I'm Luke Raider. See you later.